Greetings and welcome to the Wednesday evening vodcast podcast. Which one of you? I don't know. Just, just, just play some music or something. I don't goddamn rightly know. Ugh. Hey, all you Billy Bumblers out there, how you doing? What do you guys think about the uh, the Gummy Bear Incident three-part series that I produced just for you guys? It was a lot of fun to make. I tell you, it taught me a lot of things, too, because uh, trying to whittle down two and a half hours and then the third video was about an hour and a half is tough because I know my friends and you don't, or some of you do. If, you, if you're my friends, you know you because you are you. But the thing is, it's like, I enjoy my time so much with my friends that like uh, my, my friend Brad was saying, he said, get it down to eight and a half minutes. Ideally, yes. <laughs> and I was lucky to get the last one down to nine minutes, 19 minutes and 59 seconds, because I enjoyed so much of my time there that it wasn't so much about producing a show that's going to garner thousands and millions of views and, and new subscribers. It's kind of about telling the story of my life and, and the people who mean the most to me in my life. And if you watch that video, then you know that outside of my direct family, you know, those are the most important people in my life. And to capture that right now may mean nothing to anyone. It might be silly. It might be like, I can't make it through 25 minutes. But in 10 years or 20 years when I'm gone and you're still around, whoever you might be, you know, you're watching this at this moment and I'm gone and you're watching these old videos and I'm long gone because I'm going to go. I mean, unless something <laughs> intercedes, you know, some superpower, uh, a godlike figure, uh, science and technology, it's kind of like getting a superpower. You know, the chances of survival past, you know, I mean, let, let's be honest. I mean, in my case, I'll be lucky if I make it to 80. You know, I, I'd love to live forever. I want to see everything. I want to know everything. I want to, I want to experience everything. I want to taste everything. But life sometimes gets in the way. And that's what I kind of wanted to talk about a little bit today is planning for the future. My kids are 11 and 13 now. Uh, 14? Jesus Christ. I'm getting old. Grayson will be 14 in June. Uh, and I also have a 23-year-old. And so I start thinking about my younger boys, and, 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 and eventually, probably within the next 10 to 12 years, uh, probably 10 at least, I would think. You know, most, most people leave the house, you know, 18 to 25. You know, if you go to college, that's one thing. If you you know, move out just to start your own life. You know, that's another thing. Sometimes that happens a little later in life. But I have to start, I've been, I've been trying to get into the mind frame of like 15 years from now. And also trying to plan for that now. And that's not an easy thing because I want to, I want to live in in New England or, or California or some other country. I, I don't really give a fuck where the hell I, I land, but I, I don't want to die in Virginia. I want to see something else or, or at least be closer to my friends, um, who, of course, I, I consider my true family. I mean, I don't have much family left, so. Also, a little update. Uh, I have not gotten any, any updates on my DNA results from Ancestry, but as soon as I do... We will be doing, we will be doing, we will be doing, I better have a zip of my drink. We'll be doing another Let's Get Racist, just a short, brief update. What I want to do is I've never used the Ancestry.com free two-week period. So what I'm going to do is when I get my results back, I'm going to use it to my advantage. And then I will start the two-week free trial. And I'm hoping at the end we end up with something that's like, whoa, man dude. Uh, my nephew, um, Kai, and his brother Isaac and their mom, uh, my sister-in-law, Kim, are visiting right now. They're actually going to look at a dog right now. They're thinking about adopting a dog. And so I thought I'd take these few moments to be able to sit down and talk with you guys. Um, what the hell is my point? Uh, so let me just get back to my other point. My other point was that planning for the future is tough because I don't want to be here 
But at the same time, my kids, I don't know where they're going to end up. So I don't want to be too far from them. But at the same time, like, you know, there's so many little facets of life. Like you love your family, you love your friends, you love this, you love that. You want to explore, you want to see everything. What is the most important thing to you? And, and, and that's a tough thing when you're playing for the future. It's definitely like, I mean, ideally in my head, Carol and I, after the kids have moved out, of course, live somewhere nearby, which is hopefully like, you know, San Diego or, or somewhere nice in Vermont or the White Mountains in New Hampshire. But how do you plan for that? Like, I mean, I feel like, I feel like generations before us, my mother, my grandparents, like, like they had a grasp on reality and, and how to get from point A to point B. I feel like I'm in a position in my life where I, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to link point A to get to point B, you know, and I don't even know what's going to happen between there. There might be A.1, you know, A.13, you know, I don't know. And so the future terrifies me in that aspect. Um, but it also excites me because, you know, there's, there's always hope for, uh, for an amazing life. And I've had one so far. And most of you have been a part of that. And I appreciate that. So if you appreciate me as much as I appreciate you, and if you love watching these as much as I love making them, <laughs> please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon to let you know every time I put an out video. Did I say that right? I don't really care. Uh, take care of yourselves. Make somebody smile tomorrow, and I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. I'm Jason Oliver. This is the Vodcast Podcast. Yeah, uh, boy, how do you... I don't know, something like that. <laughs>